guys, I will be tasting this right now. Mmm. It's nice. This is you see, I should cut it again, make them see how soft it is. Nice, nice. Such a, such a nice and clean and pretty too. Okay guys, so here I have my cornmeal sifted, my cinnamon powder, nutmeg, and salt, and my all-purpose flour. Now, yes, I'm mixing in this big Dutch pot because I can't find my large, my extra large mixing bowl, and so this should be able to hold it up. So these ingredients have already been sifted, so what I'm going to do now is just combine all my dry ingredients they've already been sifted the nutmeg now i move it's set all right so i'm just going to combine all of these and when i'm baking as i'm sure i've said before i always like to use a wooden spoon no, them have the modern fancy day like plastic one them or whatever on the call them but I like my wooden spoon I'm have that wooden spoon in a long time it have history probably I need a new set but this have history you know I am sentimentally attached as this the boat from my father I must say a long time that All my dry ingredients have been thoroughly combined. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the wet ingredients. Alright, so what I have here now is my coconut milk. And the portions to all the ingredients will be left in the description bar below. So I have my coconut milk here. I have my water here. I have my butter. I have my sugar. And I have my vanilla. So we are going to combine all of these. On low heat you know you don't want a thing you know yeah guys you can also add raisin to your cornmeal when I have no raisin may I work it with my having a house so I've added that I'm going to now add the vanilla and my water so this will be the liquid ingredients that will be added to the dry ingredients to make it start get pudney you don't know so i'm gonna give this a little stir to just mix out this properly okay see i using a wooden spoon again wooden spoon when I bake, I just like use my wooden spoon. So I have the, the heat on medium. But not too hot. I'm just... I haven't added the sugar as yet. And the something said 2 cup of butter. It never specify it for, for, if it's melted or hard. And I know if it's melted, then no liquid that. So it would have been 2 cup of liquid. <laughs> I'm not sure if I had liquid measuring cup for use or the dry measuring cup, but... I melt it and I use the liquid measuring cup and I ate this. Hopefully my butter enough. I've never made cornmeal pudding on my own before. It's the first time trying it. Normally my mommy do the pudding stuff. She and my dad used to bake pudding every Friday evening. Every Friday. Okay, so I'm going to add my sugar no and just make that one morishing together so it's still on medium heat now I add the sugar just gonna make it one mix so just 
leave that for like five minutes more. So five minutes past, sugar dissolve everything well blended and I'm going to turn this off now. So you'll notice I have another pot here. This pot I will use to make the topping for the pudding. Oven preheated at 350, it reach. Turn off, turn off the stove top, but the oven has already been preheated to 350. This is the baking tin that I'll be using. Yeah, it look old because guess what? This have history too. It coming from my mother and father days. And I no longer have my father in my life. So a lot of things that was around from him, I am very much attached to it. So whenever we're baking, we use these things. A lot of our baking stuff is from mommy and daddy days. And yeah. So anyway, pan grease. I'm going to combine my ingredients now, my liquid and dry. Okay, so I'm going to use my measuring cup to decant the liquid at, to add it to the dry ingredients because not adding all of it at once adding about half of the liquid ingredients to this and mix that in and then add the other half so I have to try and mix it all good and you have to be careful when you're mixing as well Try and mix it out smooth because you don't want any lumps to be left back. So as soon as I'm done mixing out this and it's smooth enough, then I will add the rest of the liquid ingredients. Alright, so this is how it looks after I've added the first half of the liquid ingredients. I'm going to add the rest to it now. Smell good, you see? Smells so good. And just stir that up all right guys so i have my mixture poured out into my tin and i'm going to put it in the oven now for it to bake for an hour give give well give not take it can't i don't think it's going to be less than an hour maybe an hour and 10 minutes or 15 minutes but may i put it for an hour first So out of the one hour, I put the, the, the pudding to bake. 15 minutes is left. This is at the time that I like to make my sauce for the top or what I would like to call the gravy. Anyway, I'm going to switch pot. So this is what it is. Some coconut milk. Sugar. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon to that and it will be on low heat and you know so till everything just takes time melt out and mix up on whatever and then when that is done you throw that on top of the pudding feet of the nice you know the gummy gummy the gravy as I like call it so this is what you use okay so this is what I'm working with I just take them out of the oven clearly my floor lean because you can see say this this side I'm gonna say like it lean goes out so there's not bake out yet like all this side and I got this out of it as well. So anyway, that that on the top so I'm gonna go and take time dry. That's why I say it's not give or take. You have to have an hour. So it might be an hour and ten minutes or hour and fifteen minutes. I think I'm gonna have it for an hour and fifteen minutes. What I'm going to do now is mix up one of the dough this year the gravy yeah I'm going to add this to the top of these so no worry say look wait so that you want you want your, your pudding you don't want your pudding dry you want it for have the gravy when this cook up it's a got have a jelly jelly 
jelly jelly something I go on about it. Oh, I got my mouth full of water. I'm salivating. It smells so good. See that? So what I usually do now when that is added, I just take a little spoon and you see all that buttery goodness when I did I sip on top of the pudding before. I just mix in everything. I just mix it up. it up so that I can spread mix up that and spread in the gravy with it and to do the same for this one so that everything can just nourish in together the guys I'm saying nourish with a M not N when I used to go to cooking school yeah like a fact about me I did do a little cooking course through heart there was a girl there she could not say nourish with the n she used to say nourish with an m so you didn't know the things i'm mixing and i go good you just say nourish for emphasis all right i'm gonna put that back in an oven now that had two minutes left out of the one hour well when i took it out it was six minutes left come and make sure i pay attention so i'm going to add back that six minutes Plus another 10 minutes. So 16 minutes may I go add back on the time. So you know, make everything finish out. Okay guys, what I had added was 20 minutes more. After the 20 minutes, this is how it looks. I never not worry about that. I can smell so the something big. That's just the gravy on top. What I'm going to do now is put this one down to the bottom. Because clearly the bottom is hotter. So I'm going to switch them around and leave them over half oven off mega leave them in there and make the heat of the oven just finish you know dry it down but yeah that's it i'm not bake it no longer